guys, welcome back to the channel. No, these glasses have got to go. You guys are gonna have to deal with the poison ivy on my face. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to change out the spindle in your Ferris Z3X stand-on zero turn mower. I'll give you the tools that you need and I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial so that you can get your mower back up and running and out of the shop. Now y'all, if you have any questions when you get done watching this video, drop a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you just as quick as I can. Let's take a look at what tools you guys are gonna need to get this job All done. All right, let's break this down. You need some type of jack to lift your mower up. You need a 15 16 socket to get your blades off, something to help get your blade off. You're gonna need a half inch wrench to work on your tensioner pulley and I suggest having a cheater bar, something to make it a little bit easier, give you a little bit more leverage. You're also gonna need a one and one eighths inch socket you're gonna need a 9 16 with a corresponding 9 16 inch wrench, half inch socket, and then you're gonna need whatever type of socket wrench you're using for these. If you've got two socket wrenches, the better. You could get by with just one, but I like to leave this one in the tensioner pulley bar to make it a whole lot easier to work with. It's kind of hard to reach. Last but not least, you're gonna need your grease gun to give it a good greasing when you get done and you will be good to go. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack this mower up. I'm gonna take off the blade on the spindle that's bad so that it's easier to work with and I can swap out the parts faster. All right guys, I'm not gonna get long-winded about it today, but I love my jungle gym jack. Check out this other video that's popping up in the corner and uh, it'll go into a little bit more detail about why that's my go-to jack. Now then, let's get that blade off. All right guys, now that I have the blade off, what you're gonna need here is a half inch socket. There's one bolt in the rear, two bolts in the front. We're gonna loosen these up and then we're gonna take the cover off. Now once it's loose, you can go ahead and just lift this cover up and get it out of your way. Now here is the culprit, here is the spindle that's bad. I'm gonna take this belt off so you'll really be able to see it, but there shouldn't be any wobble, there shouldn't be any play in the spindle whatsoever. So you see how bad this one is. I can feel it, you can probably hear it, but let me take this belt off and you'll see exactly how bad it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the mower deck all the way down. All right guys, so now that you've got it situated, you can get to it a little bit better. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your mower belt off. And this is for the deck belt. So what you're gonna do is follow that over here and find your tensioner pulley. And then on the underneath side of the frame, there's a cutout for a half inch wrench here. Now what you need to do, you can see it right here, is put that wrench in underneath. And what I would do is I would go ahead and get a cheater bar and put it on the end of your wrench. Quick physics lesson, the longer your pipe or the longer your cheater bar, the less force you have to exert on it to make it work. So there you go. Now that I've got everything in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cheater bar and I'm gonna pull it this way towards the right hand side, towards this discharge side of the uh, mower and it's going to loosen up this belt and it should drop or I should be able to pull it off. See it? Pull that loose. And I'm just going to drop this down. I'm going to ease my bar back and I'm going to leave it right in place because we're going to need it again to put it back together. Now that we've got this off you can look at it and you can really see how much that thing's wobbling around in there. I really didn't notice it. Uh, it wasn't affecting the way that it cut until this belt jumped off the other day and when I went to put it back on, that's really loose. So now's the best time to change it before we have any problems. Now here's where you're gonna take your one and one eighth inch socket. You're gonna take this nut off and I'm gonna use the air impact gun and hopefully it's got enough force to zip it off without turning everything. There you go, your nut's off. You're gonna to wanna to save this for later, but you can go ahead and pull off your pull off your pulley. Now be careful, because you're gonna to wanna to keep 
your washer on the top, and on the inside of this, you've got a little, I forget what it's called, it's a, it's a key, I think is what it's called. And you've got this little key that goes in there and keeps this from keeps this from spinning right here. It just slid right in there. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. So it was just right in there. So you're gonna to wanna to take that key out and save that, okay? And save the pulley, unless your pulley's gone bad. You're gonna save all that. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and remember which way that you put it on, okay? So this is the long side is down, okay? The long side's down, short side's up. And the key was in the bottom part. It was in the long side. So I'm gonna leave it sitting just like that and this is the order that it came off. You had your nut on top, then you had your washer, then you had your pulley, short side up, and then you had your key inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this and set it down off to the side. All right guys, so now that we have this off, you can actually see here's the spline for the spindle and you see how much it's moving around down there. This is just trash and buildup that's around the guard. So I'm gonna pull this off, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. What we're gonna to have to do is, these are all 9 16 nuts and there's a corresponding bolt on the other side that's 9 16 head. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to put some type of wrench on the bottom and use a drill or an air impact gun or a socket wrench, something to get these loose and, uh, and get this spindle and the whole casing to uh, drop. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the mower back up so that I can access it a little bit easier. Hey, quick side note guys, just because I'm using air tools doesn't mean you have to have them to do this job. You could use a power drill, you could use a cordless drill, you could use just regular old hand tools. It doesn't have to be anything power about it. I'm just trying to use what I have at my disposal to make the job a little bit quicker. All right y'all, so there's not gonna be a whole lot to see with this. I'm gonna take my 9 16 uh, wrench, I'm gonna put it on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put my driver on top. I'm going to take these out. I'm probably not going to video all this because there's eight bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six bolts that I need to take loose. It's going to take just a minute. And when I put my chute block up, you're not really going to be able to see. So I'll do this first one on camera and then I'll switch it out. If you're a lefty here, bonus There's one. Hopefully you can see as that last bolt fell, it started to drop the spindle down. Let me show you what it looks like from the underside before I pull it out. All right, so here's how it looks from the underside. The whole guard, everything's just gonna come down. And it's gonna come out just like that. Look at there, I got fishing string on it. From mowing around ponds and stuff like that all this trash but this here is going to be what we're replacing i've got the new one right here and this is what it's going to replace so. all right guys if i hadn't said this already make sure you're using good parts use oem parts save yourself some time and some money don't worry about going with cheap knockoff parts unless you know they're going to work now if i haven't already showed you the part number for this is let's see here 5104744. Again, 5104744. Now, the only thing that we need to do to put this thing back together is just do the reverse order of how we took it off. I'm going to put the spindle back up into place. We're going to put the bolts in there, tighten them up, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I got my nuts and bolts up here so they're easy to get to. I've got the first one started in the spindle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put this in from the bottom side. I'm going to cap it with a nut on top, and then I'm going to put all the respective bolts in place, and we'll tighten them up when we get done. Now, it doesn't matter. They don't have to go back on in the same order that you took them off. I just want to get one on there so that it hangs up for me. And then you can kind of spin it. You can't see it, but if you spin this around, it'll oscillate, and you can put your bolts in through the holes. Now, once you've got these all tightened back up, move this over so that the groove is facing towards you. It might be a little bit easier to work with. Grab your pulley and make sure that your key, make sure that your key is in place. And we're gonna slide this down on top of this 
spline. So you can't really see very well, but it's in place. I'm just gonna work it around and I'm just gonna lightly bump it and it's in place. Now you shouldn't be able to spin the spline without spinning the pulley and vice versa. And now you can feel, you can, well you can't feel, but you can see there's no movement in there. So I'm gonna put my washer back on top. I'm gonna put my nut on, my one and one eighth inch socket. I'm gonna tighten it up, and again, don't over tighten. That's it right there. Now that I'm gonna drop the mower back down, I'm gonna put the belt back on, and just in case your belt popped off, I'll put in a diagram right here so that you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. So all of my belts are on. If I had an extra set of hands, what I would do is I would pull this tensioner back and I would take this belt and put it on the clutch last. I don't think I could do that because I don't think I can reach it by myself. So what I'm gonna try to do is as I'm pulling it, as I'm pulling the, the, the cheater bar this way and this arm goes out here, I'm gonna try to lift up the belt from the bottom side. So just like that. So I put the belt up from the bottom. I'm gonna let this down nice and easy. Guys, that is it. Your spindle is changed. Now, stop what you're doing. After it's done, put your grease in it before you put your blades back on, before you put your cover back on so that you don't forget. Hopefully you found something helpful in this video, guys. Wasn't a hard job, didn't take very long. Make sure you got the tools ahead of time. And if you're not videoing, I promise you it'll go a lot faster. All right, guys, that's it. Till next time, I love you, I appreciate you, but above all else, God bless you guys. Yeah.